it's yeah, okay. You know. It's a little dry out It's there. hard though. That's this is my yard at home. I remember we'd always have brown yeah. spots because my dad would have us fertilize and it would just not work out. So yes. <laughs> So Standard, cr- it's uh, I, I look at some right people's now. yards and I'm like, how do they do it? So plush, so I know. beautiful. Yeah, they're out there with scissors Someday. cutting it. That's goals for you. <laughs> goals. He's yeah. gonna be get off. My I don't lawn. even have a yard right now, but we do have a yeah. banana split with us this right is now. Rare. So let's bring in Michelle because we had to cut her off short. <laughs> You know, it was important stuff, Michelle. You were showing us how to make the banana splits, so break it down for us. What's your you secret know, the, recipe? The, I would refer to those as mini banana splits, so shout out to whoever those bowls belong to in this yeah. building, because they're like the perfect size, right? It's like size, portion right? control, if you oh, will. Good. It yeah. is. You each got half a banana, you each got half a scoop of ice cream, some whipped cream, and some sprinkles. It's how else national, would we start our day? Yeah, it's National Banana Split Day. You can have banana splits for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Oh. <laughs> Or dessert. But I was saying earlier, my nephews, um, they were like mesmerized when I made the banana splits last week. They were like, what is that? Andy? What do you know? Well, since I've had sprinkles, they're really good. Yeah, banana splits are good. So if you haven't had one in a while, now's the perfect time to celebrate National Banana Splits. Well, thank Day. you so much, Thanks Michelle. Thanks for sure. Always you always feed us. us. I know, we appreciate it. I, said, I, owed you, I owe you wheat things. Yeah, well, don't give me a whole box. I'll eat it all in one Okay, <laughs> That's why I'm with ice cream, so we're good on that. All right, ice cream going to melt. Pretty yeah. fast today. Thanks, you don't want it today. We'll check back in with you in just a little bit here. I'm going to go over to meteorologist Joey Marino. I'm just trying to get to you so you can eat. And Joey, I'm sorry, eat. though. You seem to be... <laughs> it tastes good, Joey. I would I would share, but... I'm know. very happy that it tastes <laughs> good, Elliot. <laughs> I'm just going to put it down so you know. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But these will melt pretty fast today. Yeah, definitely is. Today's going to be an ice cream day for sure, or even pool weather, because we're holding on to the 90s. But as Whitney mentioned, ice cream is going to melt pretty quick with the heat that we'll see this afternoon. Let's take a look at current conditions out there this morning. Taking a live look out in Rochelle, Whitney's favorite spot. We're looking at some sunshine peeking through the cloud cover as we've had cloud cover from this morning's thunderstorm uh, activity. 75 degrees right now. We're at dew points in the upper 50, so it's not muggy out there, but still feels pretty warm. Temperatures are warming into the low 70s in most spots, mid 70s still here in Rockford.